Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, today is my favorite day of the month and it is the day where my Ipsy bag has showed up. I'm so excited that it's finally here. Um, I am gonna be graduating in two days. So I wanted to make sure that it got here before I leave and luckily it did. Uh, so if you don't know what Ipsy is, it is a $10 a month subscription service that sends you a little cute makeup bag filled with beauty and makeup items. Uh, either I think deluxe sample or full size items. So without further ado, this is the January bag. I do know for the most part what I'm getting um, because I just could not help myself from looking. Um, but regardless, it should still be fun. Uh, the theme this month is Metropolis and it's got, oh God, what is her name? I don't know her name, but I, I know this girl from YouTube. I just can't think of her name. Uh, but it says, you are now entering Metropolis. We run this town. Head to ipsy.com slash glam bag right now to join us as we hit the big city streets. Um, and then it just kind of tells you about the different like videos and things that are on the Ipsy website. So yeah, <laughs> this is the bag. I am not a fan really of the style of the bag. It's like gray and silvery kind of, but it's got these like circular things that are like a separate layer from the actual bag. I am not a fan. I probably will not be keeping this little bag, um, but it's what's inside that counts. So the first thing that I see is Bahama Mama from The Balm. It is a bronzer and it looks like this. Um, it's very small for a bronzer, but I have heard a lot about this and how great it is. Um, I don't know. It's not very, I mean, I don't know. I guess you'd have to build it up, but I just don't know how you would get your big bronzer brush up in here. Like, I feel like since it is a face product, they should have maybe made it a little bit bigger. If it was an eyeshadow, like that would be fine. And I guess you could use it as an eyeshadow, like a brown shadow. Um, but if you're going to be using it as a bronzer, I feel like you need like a little bigger packaging. Um, but it's still cute and I'm still excited to try it. I really do like the uh, Hot Mama blush that I've gotten uh, in this style. But again, I feel like it would be nicer if it was bigger. Um, then I see something from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss. Um, I think it's Kate Moss, right? I don't know. But this is just a clear lip balm. So it looks like this. It looks like their lipstick packaging. Ooh, it's like an orangey color. Like, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I know there's no point in swatching it because it's clear, but it does seem very smooth, um, very like slick. And I mean, y'all know me, I really love lip balm. So, you know, this is not gonna go unused. Then I have, a brush, ooh, this is really pretty. Um, it's from Blend Beauty, I don't know. But it's like a lavender, or no, it's from, I can't even read the name, but it's in like a cursive rose gold print. But this is the L34 Blend Beauty uh, for Ipsy. Ooh, it's so pretty, I love it. It's got this lavender handle uh, with this rose gold ferrule and it's got little rhinestones in it and the brush is like purple. This might be my new favorite blending brush. Like, it's just so pretty. Um, and I love the brushes I've gotten from Ipsy, like the Luxie brushes and things, but I will say that the rhinestones are a really nice touch. So, love that as I like throw it on the ground, but um, love that, it's gorgeous. Then I have a mask. This is the Dead or no, it's from Global Beauty Care Dead Sea Wash Off Mask. Um, and it looks like this. Um, it is really cool that it's got this little cap on it so you can get multiple uses out of this one pack. 
Um, but it says it's got salts and minerals from the Dead Sea. It's a 15 minute face and body therapy, deep cleansing mud based formula for all skin types. So I think this is a really nice genuine or generous sample um, of a mask. It's like one ounce. Um, so yeah, and it's not tested on animals, which is cool. Um, so yeah, it's a mud mask. And then the last thing that is in here is the Mana Kadar blush. I think I've gotten something from them before. I love how it came in bubble wrap to keep it safe. Um, but I did hear, let me get this other plastic off. I did hear that this is supposedly really difficult to open. If I can get the plastic off at least, you know, then we'll be able to test that. Because I would like to swatch it. I've seen some pretty swatches. Oh my God, are you serious? I love that they put plastic on the makeup products, but I wish sometimes that it wasn't freaking shrink wrapped because you will come into problems like this where you can't open it and you spend like hours trying to get it open. All right, I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna go and open this up because I'm really struggling. <laughs> so BRB. Oh my God, that was a beast to open, but I finally got it out of the shrink wrap. Um, I don't know why people are saying that the like container is really difficult to open um, because mine kind of just like, you know, pops right open. Um, but I did see a lot of people talking about that online, so I don't know. Um, but this is the Paradise Blush from Manakadar Beauty. It looks like this. Um, and let's give it a swatch. It looks like it's like a coral with maybe like gold reflex in it. Ooh. That is really pretty. My thing is, or my, my only complaint is that I have blushes, you know, similar to that. Like, even the Hot Mama blush that they gave you, like, you know, a couple months back you know it's similar to that i feel like there's a little bit less of a sheen between the hot like between this blush and the hot mama blush um but i'll swatch this one as well uh, maybe they're not the same i feel like the monocadar one is yeah they're definitely not the same blushes i don't know why i thought that but um yeah those are the two side by side this is the balm one and that is the monocadar layered like again so that's why it's a little bit uh darker but yeah i will definitely use this blush i've been really into blushes lately um so yeah that's exciting so to recap i've got 10 the bahama mama bronzer try saying that five times fast bahama mama um the monocadar blush the Kate Moss Rimmel Lips Lip Balm, uh, the mask, and then the beautiful brush. I will say this brush is probably my favorite thing that I've gotten out of the, you know, out of the bag this month. Um, but if I have to rate it, I'd probably rate it maybe like a 7 out of 10. Um, because it wasn't like amazing. I would have preferred maybe a little bit more makeup products. Um, the fact that this was in there is really nice, but it's also just like a clear chapstick kind of thing. Um, so, you know, to, to, if maybe this was like a different kind of lipstick, um, I would have liked that more. There's a colored rain liquid lipstick in this month's bag that people are getting and I really wanted that but um yeah so you know seven out of ten I really don't like this bag like this bag probably is gonna go in the trash because I just think it's really ugly like I don't know but I will say that this month's bag was a lot better than like last January's bag um I think it was last January's where it was just like a bunch of foil packets and like skincare i think there was like a proactive thing in there which was like really weird um but yeah this month is a lot better than last january's bag 
Um, but yeah, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. I will leave my Ipsy link in the description. Um, you can subscribe and ring my little bell if you want to get notified of future videos. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.